Hi folks, this is Sands of Salzar, an open world, desert, sandbox RPG with large battles and all that, out now in early access. In this video I'm taking a first look at the brand new English language version, which is a free update to a Chinese language game that launched at the start of 2020. So there's already a lot of mods out there, if that's your sort of thing. Just going to equip a few things, there we go. Uh, the, the plot for my Spirit Mansa class character is that I'm back from hell for revenge. Um, yes, all set to the background of five tribes fighting each other in a world of turmoil. And we start here in a merchant camp in the outskirts of Redstone Valley. I already have one recruited follower, so I'm, and we can get more as we go. Help! Save me! And so here's our first very basic battle. This is just a tutorial just to show you how it all works. All we're going to have to do is go over here. And I'm going to shoot from afar because I'm a Spirit Mansa, so stay there and shoot. Boom. Very straightforward. Only one enemy. But later on, you'll start to face battles of like 20 enemies um, against us two at the moment anyway. So we've shared some experience. The more, sp the more people in your party, the more you have to share experience. So you don't want to make your party too big. Thank you for your help. What's the name of you? Rialto. And uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Rialto. And fully customizable your character, including the name. I've chosen the, um, the weird, <laughs> the weird hot blacksmith look. My name is Malak. I'm a scholar. Uh, what were those monsters? If you're lucky, you'll never encounter one. If we're to violent by nature, they especially like to attack humans. Human mages, in particular. Oops. This kind of weak ifrit isn't even self-aware, but it's said more powerful ifrit are smarter than a human. Now here, have a gift. 100 quid? Nice. The Battle of the Black Sun has made this world unrecognisable, but people have never stopped fighting it. You brace your head against the wind and press on. Right, so let's get to the caravan and get out of here. So let's go to Redstone Valley. I mean, we have got a quest to go somewhere, but let's go to the Redstone Valley. Uh, this is the full area map, and if you scroll out, you go and see even more. So we'll make our way north, I think, as we go. Are we in Red... We're right... Actually, we are right down here. So yes, we'll definitely have to go north. But first... Oh, hello. Rage Elixir. Uh, okay. So, it's like a living, breathing world, this. We'll find people just wandering around all over the place. Here's a hesitant adventurer. I don't have enough Utah to hire troops, but I know that fighting alone is dangerous. I learned that our trainer was selling war animals. Who knew? They would be more than expensive than people. My stand is simple, but my merchandise is anything but. I don't have pets for sale right now. Come back into the town. Oh, that's a shame. There are plenty of battles to be found if we want. We've got to be careful about them. Um, Anything with a... any people who have a, like a red name may want to fight us and chase us and all sorts of stuff. Ooh! Now where are we going? Oh, Crying Rock, so we're already heading north. Now if we actually have a look at this, this is a, a patrolling party. Watch your shadow. Uh, we can see what's going on here, like, see who they all are, like, oh, it's assassins and spies. Ooh. This will be one of the one of the tribe uh, allied to one of the tribes, I think. Ooh, we don't really want to be worried about those. We can find out about this tribe. What would you like to know about the Dak? The Dakin? Oh, we could try and join them. That's something you should go and talk to our talk about with our leader, Dak Queen Rabia. Ooh, how can I win your trust? And the more you help us, the more we can trust you. We sent you to quests for them. So we could, let's see, let's see if we can actually get a quest off you. I'm hunting down someone, they're in Redstone Keep, West Outpost. 392 quid for that. Oh, okay, let's do that. If we talk to the chief, see what they've got to say. We have some restless youths that want to leave, but the world after the Battle of the Black Sun, we all know what it's like. They snuck out last night and we're very worried. So this is another quest. Okay, let's get another quest. <laughs> So the main quest at the moment is just to reach level 5. We're currently level 1. No, we haven't done any fighting or anything yet. Other than that one and token battle. I think we should head south. Oh, actually, let's get that. Limestone flower. There's plenty of those around. So we really need to go south. I think it was the west outpost. Oh, that's very that's straightforward. That's just, yeah, pretty much due south. Now you can, I think, just do that. So it'll, it'll automatically do the walking for us. And so we can have a bit of a look around. There's the horse. There's that treasure chest that we opened earlier. I think people who like Kenshi would like this game. Uh, it's, 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 it's different to that, but it's um, it's got that same sort of RPG open world feel to it. Oh, a guard. Oh, sorry, uh, oh, the mysterious witch. Talk to you. 
You are not the Sultan of this land. I don't have to talk to you. No. <laughs> oh, piss. Actually, oh, let's, let's have a fight. Uh, since we do need to um, get up our experience. You haven't heard of the famous Desert Brotherhood? Hand over your valuables. No, let's fight. All right, so this is going to be a bit of a harder fight. There's going to be a lot of them. So we're going to have to do a bit of running away. Dodging as well. We could definitely do with hiring a few people now. Or at least one. Okay, that's um, almost got rid of one. I could do with the sword woman helping out. I seem to be able to distract them while she actually tonks them from behind, which is a very noble way of fighting. Hang on, just quickly get out of here. Get you. Get you. Uh, move back, move back. I'm just getting t a little bit tonked here. Right, come on. Get him, get him from behind. I'll, actually, I'll just be giving him a good old tonk. Actually, I'm, I'm getting very hurt here, so I think I should, I should probably run out of here just for the time being. There we go. Move. Got you. Whew. Twelve quid? Um, a gift? Ooh, possibly a kettle or a toaster. And you received also a wooden string instrument of some description. Uh, friendliness with the Desert Brotherhood has dropped. So that's increased our experience. 240 out of 300 for level 1. So we're getting there. And we could hire... We, we definitely should really be hiring some people, though, to help out when things go askew. Right, so we need to continue down here. What's this? Ooh, bandit. Alright, alright, since you're so quick. Enemies 8. Oh, these are, these are just rake lads. These shouldn't be too difficult, hopefully. They're just basic farmers or something. Ha! Ha! There. Oh, we got a nan! And some iron as well. Oh, that's a lot of experience. Excellent. And we've leveled up to level 2 by the looks of it. Yes, here we go. Uh, let's just have another look at... Well, let's have a look at the intel, because this is quite a, uh, a, a screen that you might need to know about. Like, tribes, uh, relationships, and stuff like that. So the Dakin, I think, the people we asked about, they're not happy with the Dib and the Nasir, but they seem okay with the others. And so those are the five tribes. And then there's um, some other lads as well. The Desert Brotherhood we've seen. They're just bastards. I've come into possession of a pet. Ooh, an Arctic wolf cub. 152 quid. Yeah. Yes, got a doggy. Yay, let's pet it. <laughs> let's see what happens on the screen here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Level one um, Arctic wolf cub. Not very good, I don't think, but it'll do. Oh, we've got two wolf cubs, apparently. Well, this should be make should be real interesting. Try to get you. Nice. Tonk. Oh, the dog's almost dead. Almost got them from a distance. But we have one. And we've also got a Windrider wooden cuirass, which I'm not sure if I can actually wear that, but we'll have a look. Also, I didn't quite get this. Prestige shard. Right, let's have a look at the party. Level 2, doing quite nicely. The dog's only level 1. Um, right, inventory. That's what I need to click. Can I replace my shabby clothes yet? Um, apparently I can wear this. Unfortunately, I've slowly only got the wooden wand. Oh, what's this? Uh, oh, someone declared... Oh, I didn't... I barely noticed something said in the bottom left. A war has been declared. Nothing to do with us, I don't think. So I don't know where these missing villages are, but I really feel like we should be heading towards our quest goal. Oh, look, I've looked all over the place now. Uh, which is... I see Amrith Town, which is pretty much just due north. Ooh, here we go. What's all this? Someone's lost control. Someone's occupied something. Anyway, a statue of a legendary hero. Approach the statue, remember the hero's exploits, and learn from them. So this is a sort of exploration-y type thing. I think there's only one in this case, but sometimes there's like a ten-level dungeon. With a fight at the end, generally. In this case, I think it's just literally just going to be a boss fight. And unfortunately, it's only me as well. I cannot... I, c I cannot be aided by anyone else. So I think I might need to actually just do a bit of avoiding here. I really could do with a health potion or something. <laughs> oh! Ooh. No, I'm not going to... don't think I'm going to be able to win this one. I think this is a case of waiting for my uh, my dodge to um, de-cooldown. 
get out of the way, and then, oh, bugger. <laughs> Unfortunately. Ooh. My cowardly tactics are paying off. Ish. <laughs> Unfortunately, he does heal. Slowly but surely. Constantly. But I'm going to wait. Okay, wait for this cooldown. You can actually stack cooldowns as well, which is handy. Here we go. I'm actually healing myself as well, which is um, good, because we're, the table is now turned. And he is now below me, health-wise. I'm a slippy, wily character. I've also got, got, seem to have got some good evasion going on as well. Here we go, right in the back. Get him. Yes! Three quid! <laughs> but look at the experience I got. Because it was a, that was a solo, I got it all myself. And received an exp, exp stone and all that. Nice! Did not expect that to go so well. So at the moment I'm heading north. I really want to, I think I want to go up there to the um, to Crying Rock. So let's go up here. Right, so let's have a look. Um, Cotter Town, West Outpost. Uh, the quest... You failed your qu God damn it! I've just run out of time, just as I was about to do this. <laughs> Piss. So what the, the other quest was actually to do go back to... Uh, where is it? Redstone Keep, West Outpost. I think we were already on our way to do this, weren't we? We were heading south, um, and then in all the confusion, I ended up um, going, trying to go and do the other quest instead. Okay, let's go. Let's let's go and do that one. So the actual quest was somewhere around here. Well, let's have a, let's have a, let's have a speak with these lads. What's the matter? How will you respond? You look like Shahid, the person I'm looking for. Oh. So he sent you? Well, you were tricked. I, have, I may have my grudges against him, but I'm not a bad person. Please believe me. Hmm. Let's let him go. I believe him. You're a wondrous person. Farewell! Shahid was very disappointed when they heard about this. Your quest was cancelled. Oh. Oh, I'm just, I, was, I was being nice. I was actually going to try and hire them for my quest, but I didn't actually realise that was actually the goal of the quest. Ugh. Anyway, let's have a talk with the village elder. If you can meet our equipment fee, we have some farmers willing to follow your cause. Alright. Yeah. I'm not even going to look who they are. Yes, we've got more lads. Nasir Farmer. Five of them. Right, so now, actually, let's try and go towards where I was meant to go towards, which was... Amaranth Town. So I have to go back, all the way back the way we came again. Just on route, though, let's have a look in the mine. Um, there's ten floors of this. This is the one where you actually have to go th through a bit of a choose-your-own-adventure type thing. Recommended level three. Well, I'm kind of like level two, but I'm sure that'll be fine. Meanwhile, people are joining the dib. You can help. There were no enemies on floor number one, but we get some poison gas. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely nothing on level two. Uh, so we've got a choice here. Magic stone... Um, Increase your any, entire, entire party's attack by 30%, but poison gas. I'll take it. Why not? Got two poison gases on us now. Ignore that. Um, defense. Yes, let's have that. So there's a lot of choices here. Nothing here. No enemies. Oh, bandits on level 7. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a fight. We haven't got our other lads, though, because we're not allowed. But... Let's go over here. Oh, you, you can get tonked. Oh, it went off. Come on, I need to get rid of some of the, the low-level lads who are almost about to die, but... In the heat of the battle, it's hard to aim. <laughs> oh, missed! I missed again. There, there we go. Get you. And... There we go. Sorted. I really need some more magical skills. Five Ironstone. Uh, continuing the thing, your entire party may recover mana here. There is also a chest. Um, let's recover some mana. Nothing on level 9. And nothing on level 10 either. But we should possibly have now have a boss. The abandoned redstone mine. It's the Wiz! With your fire, with the fiery head. The savage face of a wizard. I've got all sorts of modifiers here. So this is the wizard boss. This is very straightforward. I've done this before. Now we just have to avoid it. Is um, his attacks from the sky like that? Move. 
There we go. But he has not got much health. Unfortunately, my um, my companion has already died. <laughs> Possibly best to stick to um, um range attack with this one. But yes, um, experience for both of us. I'm hoping that'll take us up to level three now. Oh, broadsword. Ooh. So I think snakeskin harness. Ooh, I might be able to wear that. No, apparently I've got to level. I've actually got to level up to four to actually do that. I see. Now I understand it. What about you? Can you wear it? No, you can't either because you're only level. You're only level three, I think. No, that's a shame. But what about the the sword? Level three. Hmm. Can you wear that? No, you're still only level two. Ooh. Well, that's good for later on. Um, once we actually level up one spot, I think I'll give it to her. Right, so we know to go, need to go all the way up to here. So let's auto travel and see what's going on. Here in wherever the hell we are, Crying Rock. Uh oh, we don't have. Oh god, oh the wolf pack as well. Well, I'm trying not to get into too many fights. Unfortunately, this place does seem to be crawling with bads and bizarres. Also bones. Uh oh, uh, we have. Uh, oh, this is Mar Malak again, who we saw uh, um, earlier on in the video. You don't remember me? Well, yes, I do. Um, it's my benefactor. It's me, the guy you saved from the Ifrit. He puts away his old tomes and turns to take your hand. My benefactor, I finally found you. I'm in desperate need of your help again. You must know how powerful the Ifrit are. They have recently began to attack humans in groups. Ooh, they have their own language, intelligence, and powerful magic. They evolve and adapt quickly too. I found a secret base for the Ifrit. They seem to be planning some shameful conspiracy. Uh, the Lava Void to the south of Redstone Keep is where I shall wait for you. So that seems to be some sort of main quest type thing. But I was supposed to be going up to... All the way up to here. Um, does this still... Does this still happen? Oh, that's a character quest. So there's a main quest and a character quest. So let's just do the character quest because I, I'm already on the way and I don't really want to go back the way I came again. Resi Resilience Elixir. And here we are. Most of the townspeople are wearing hoods, the mark of wizards. You're at a loss of where to start, though. You need to do something to impress them. Let's, um, let's walk towards the crowd. It's me, Rialto! The Marvellous. Oh, you see a wizard tied to a rack. I recognise your cleverness in using black magic to heal injuries. This is the mayor. Holding a piece of parchment in one hand and pointing at the wizard with the other. However, you have committed two crimes. If you truly wanted to become a healer, you should have joined the White Rose Society. But you also acted in blatant disregard of the harm that black magic would bring to you and your patient. But chief, he saved my life! An old man's voice breaks the silence. The chief is going too far! This is my companion. Um, he saved a life no matter how he did it. Silence! These are the laws of the land and he must be punished. Zadap looks like she's ready to charge. Oh god, there's going to be a fight, isn't there? Oh, here we go. Sorry. Oh my god, that's, I've got a load of people in my lap. Um, <laughs> look how many people I've got now. Let's just tonk everyone. Oh god, I'm getting hurt. Okay, let's go for let's go for you. Let's move out of the way. Let's try and attack a few. Well, yeah, you seem to be focused on me, so let's be careful. Actually, let's just. I think I'm just gonna melee. Oh no, they've run off. They've run off. Oh, oh, the dog's dead. Oh well. I mean, they'll come back. I think they've, they've just been hurt a bit. It does seem that I'm. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> that escalated quickly. You are beaten by the guards. The chief leaves with his guards with a sneer. What What do we do now? Don't worry, my powers are coming back. An old friend of mine lives in the southeast corner of town. Oh, good. Zaynap has actually reached level 3 and all that. So now I can actually give her the sword. Oh. <laughs> Character can't equip it. What about me? Can I equip it? Apparently I can. I've now got a broadsword instead of a wand. So I need to actually find my old friend in the southeast corner of Amaranth Town. Looks like I've got to go there. Here we go. And out of the way trail, a winding dirt path filled with weeds and rocks. You knock at the door, Zainab hides behind your back timidly. A few, a few crows curling on a nearby tree add to the place's gloom. The mouldy door creaks open slowly. Oh, by the sun, this must be a dream. You're a terrible actor. I have to admit, I'm not all that concerned about whether you're alive or not. I'm just surprised that my sources appear to be in error. I thought you had long since ended up in the bellies of some vultures. Fine, fine. What do you want to know? Um, <laughs> him. 
The greatest Spearmancer to have lived. The mundane stuff I can tell you for free, but news about the Dominator? Even the whisper of a rumour will cost a fortune. I know your rules. You know, you can buy what I know for a thousand quid. The Hooknose puts the coin down on the table and fidgets with some jars. A few minutes later, he emerges with some old letters. Well, that's some story. <laughs> Eventually, Hooknose slams the door in your face. You can hear him cursing through the door. <laughs> uh, we finally have a lead, Dune Storm and the Corsac Guild. That is your next destination. Yay! Experience for absolute days! And look, I'm still only at level 3. <laughs> but I've been gaining a lot of experience during all that. So yeah, we're, we're slowly but surely building our way to level 5. Um, but we will stop here, because this is a, a very big game, absolutely full of stuff, and we could go on forever. But we'll stop here, so thanks for watching. Do subscribe to the channel to be notified when new stuff goes live, but all the latest and best new indie games around. Uh, and check me out on Buy Me A Coffee or Patreon if you want to support us, keep us going, and all that. Uh, bye for now.